It's JC here. Today we are going to be catfishing with chicken livers. And I brought up this new recipe. Why not just do some chicken livers with jello? <coughs> So I got it some a few chicken livers in a bag. I'm not putting a lot, a lot of them because I don't know how this is gonna work out. Then, I, then I'm just going to, then I'm just going to pour some chicken livers in the bag. I mean Jello in the bag into the chicken livers. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, now that Jello is done if this works i might need the jello again so now i'm just going to shaking that bag up i might put a little bit more yeah i'm going to put a little bit more Number one rule about chicken livers, don't let your dog get them. I've had problems with my friend's dog getting in my chicken livers. And then my dog yesterday tried to get in my in the chicken livers too, so. That is what it looks like. I'm going to let it soak right here. So I'm going to go bait up and hook with chicken livers. So guys, we're also doing a review for Danny King's Catfish Stink Bait and Punch Bait. And look at that. That's from Danny King's Catfish Punch Bait. It's fibers from a cattail. So guys, I'm going to go get a, I'm going to use a rod then. Let's go get some fish. So guys, I'm going to pass over there. look like Cray come on you don't need one no Cray that oh that's what the livers look like I should I don't know how you if you use um Kool-Aid Kool-Aid soaked chicken breast or uh, strawberry jello soaked chicken breast how do you keep it from getting on your hands? Is it okay if I get strawberry all over your, um, all over your rod? guys this is a tip if you don't know how to tie an egg loop knot look on other videos i haven't made one about it because i'm not very good at it but um if you don't want to go on and just go on and find how to tie one just use a regular hook or a circle hook and just put the chicken liver on there but just use a smaller piece then it will stop it Craig no 
then you, you want then we got that now I don't I'm not gonna cast it real hard this time Got big catfish on. It's a big catfish. Big catfish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. I'm going to the shore, guys. To land Real, 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 real. Alright, come here. That was right beside the tree. Right. Um. Landed on the shore. I'm just gonna let her take one. Come here. Okay. okay, you can drag We didn't have the net out at that time. I'm gonna drag him up on here. We have to drag him out of. Okay, channel. I'll grab him with my stringer. Solid spring cat right here. I think that I don't know what that is. I think it's by the fort. Yeah, it's a channel because of that fork tail. That's a channel cat. I want to guess about six pounds. Six pounds. A little bit over six. Six pounds. Other than six here, right, guys? Okay, we're just gonna get a quick weight of it, and we'll just. 
We'll just leave it in the water to keep it fresh. Or there's a cooler. Okay, guys. Let's pick this thing up. About 26 inches. It said all it has is 24 inches, but let's just say it's 26. Okay, let's find it up. Put it in his head in the deep part. Hi right, guys, it's time for me to do my homework. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.